Okay, so here we're going to do some more examples related to implicit differentiation. And these equations are now implicit equations. We kind of have the x and the y um, on the same side of the equal sign. So that's kind of what I look for, what sort of clues me in. So the main thing I remember when we're doing implicit differentiation, so uh, let's look at x squared plus y squared equals 25. Mechanically, what you have to remember, okay, we're taking the derivative with respect to x of both sides. Whenever you take the derivative of, you know, the variable x, we just do it like normal. So the derivative of x squared is just 2x. Now we're going to take the derivative of y squared, and we do it again, quote unquote, like normal. Um, we get 2y, um, but what we have to do, anytime you take the derivative of something involving y, we have to multiply that by dy dx. And on the right side, when we take the derivative with respect to x, we'll just get 0. So normally we have the dy dx all by itself, it's all isolated, and that's what we want to do in this case. So what I'm going to do is I can just subtract 2x from both sides. So if we subtract 2x from both sides, we'll just get negative 2x, and then we can just divide both sides by 2y. And then we'll have our solution. It says dy dx is going to equal, well, we can simplify. Um, negative 2 over 2 is just going to be negative 1, uh, x over y. And now we've got our derivative. So let's look at uh, at least one other example here, uh, maybe one that's uh, a touch more complicated. Again, hopefully nothing, nothing too crazy. So let's figure out, uh, let's do the derivative of cosine of x squared plus sine of y cubed equals 0. 0.6. We'll take the derivative of this. All right, well, we'll have to use the chain rule. So the derivative of cosine of x squared, when we do the derivative of cosine, we'll get negative sine. We'll leave the inside alone. And then we have to take the derivative of the inside, which will just be 2x. Then we have to do the derivative of the sine y cubed. So the derivative of sine is cosine. We'll leave the inside alone. And now we're going to take the derivative of something involving y. So we get, uh, when we take the derivative of y cubed, we just get 3y squared. But this, again, is when I have to remember to tack on the dy dx. So I took the derivative of something involving y um, right here. I tack on the dy dx. Well, on the right side, uh, 0.6. Uh, the derivative of that's just going to be 0. And now, uh, again, our goal is to solve for dy dx. So this first term, I'm just going to add it over to the right side. So instead of having, um, you know, negative sine x squared times 2x, I'm going to bring that over. And I'm going to rewrite it as positive 2x sine x squared. So I'm just adding this term to both sides. And we'll be left with um, our second term. And I'm going to rewrite that as 3y squared times cosine of y to the third power times dy over dx. And now just the same thing. To get dy dx all by itself, we can just divide. So dy over dx, we'll divide both sides by the 3y squared cosine y cubed. So on the right side, we'll just be left with 2x times sine of x squared, again, all over 3y squared times cosine of y to the third power. And again, now we've got our derivative.